Welcome back to the Long Dark, everybody. We are um, we're trying to avoid this wolf. I want to go that way so I can circle around and get to the lookout tower over there. But this wolf is making it very difficult, and I'm going to need to get out of the snow pretty quick. I got my stuff getting all wet there. So I need him to turn around and go the other way so I can sneak behind him. But he... And I just fucking ran into a sign. It's, or that pole. It's almost like a Twitch fail. Where those IRL streamers will not be paying attention and like run into poles and stuff. But I need this guy to stop doing what he's doing. Although I could go that way. I feel like he's going to turn around any second because he's going to hit that. Uh, there might have, there's I think there's also cabins down that way. But the reason that we have our flare gun out, ladies and gentlemen, is because if he steps to me, he's getting shot in the face with a white hot flare. I think I could probably go. Okay. I'm glad that he did that because that, that tells me there are more wolves that way. Alright, let's just go. Because he doesn't have line of sight of me right now, so he's not going to see me. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, put that guy away. Don't want a random sprain. It sucks that it's snowing so hard because I can't really see the entrance to this tower, like the path up. I don't quite remember where it starts. But it looks like we have a cabin there. Yeah, here's the cabins. Okay. Kind of want to stay on this incline because I've got the high ground. I can see where wolves are. Um... The path is pretty clear. Like, there's a sign that marks the beginning of the path up to that lookout tower. It looks like the logging cabins are clear. I might actually have to spend some time in one because it's getting dark very soon. And the last thing I want to do is be stuck in the, the dam when it's dark. But it's also, looks like it might be going full blizzard here sometime soon. I don't want to fire log. Oh, man, there's a lot of cooking pots. I kind of feel like I should take one of them. There's one at the camp office. I could haul that one back to the camp office. But let's just check these out. Take a little bit of refuge from the, the snow. What you got for me? That'll come in handy. I'm finding a lot of snowing or sewing kits. Not snowing kits. We don't need snowing kits. There's enough snow outside. Okay, I don't want that. I will take that, though. Oh, it's another thing. I, I've learned many tricks involving... Oh, that's a new, new t-shirt, though. Let's check that out. Many tricks involving uh, eating practices and things. Okay, that's not bad. And it's. I've also learned that the stuff on the outside um, is what you need to worry about for wind chill and uh, waterproofing. So even though that... I, th I think anyway. Hold on. Let's... Yeah, my windproof bonus doesn't change. But this is, this is better, so I'm going to wear that. Instead of that dress shirt, and we're gonna break that dress shirt down just for weight purposes. But I, I learned a little bit about like manipulating calories and things like that. Um, I don't need to eat during the day. I only need to eat when it's time to go to bed, which means that I'll be starving myself during the day. Uh, that won't. That's that's not gonna be the same for water, though. I will be drinking a decent amount. Uh, because I don't want to take that extra damage from being thirsty all the damn time. But that, uh, that allows me to not have to worry too much about food. You know what I'm saying? Even though I am picking up all the food I find. It's generally, it's re relatively light. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Well, useless is what you are. 
not finding anything in here. I could use this. No, no, you're good. I don't want to waste too much time breaking stuff down right now until I get to that uh, that lookout. I should just be grabbing this stuff and taking it with me, though. Um, one of the things that I think helps out a lot in story mode is that... Oh, I, I need a key. One of the things that helps out a lot in story mode, I think, is that it allows you to sleep in story mode even when you're not tired. Whereas in survival, if you're not tired, you can't sleep. So essentially... Oh, you know what? Water. Did I? Oh, I don't have a whole lot of water. I was going to wait this storm out and then wait until, like, morning. I would drink almost anything about now. But I don't know if that's going to be viable because I don't have a whole lot of water. I guess I do have... There's a wolf. I guess I do have a lot of sodas, though. So I'm not sure that the wolf can get up here to me. That doesn't mean that I want him to come running at me. Am I missing the the entrance here? But we are doubling back. I know. I really should just wait this storm out. Because I don't know where the... You know what? We're going to go back. And I'm going to wait this storm out. Because... My shit's getting all wet. And I think I have enough supplies that I can do that. So I'm going to go back to one of these. Um, I think they're they're decently warm. And I've got a decent amount of like warmth bonus anyway. So let's do it. I'll go back in one of these. I think they all had beds that I could sleep in. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, get some cardio. Why not? I don't know that there's any way I can cook like to make more. I don't see any like outdoor fire pits or anything. I'd have to make a fire. Oh, I can't get in that one. That's right. Oh, wait. There is. There's one over here. I could probably use a little bit of water. And there is a convenient fire log. How cold is it here? It's not bad. So let's take that. I'm going to cook up some water while we wait here. Looks like it worked. It sure did. All right, let's wait this storm out. Yeah, I'm just going to pass time. So I'm going to be taking condition damage here because my my water is low. I could eat anything right now. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Well, that was a bad idea. All right. And it's dark, so I can't go look for it. I wasn't paying attention to the time of the fire. All right, let's just get inside. Like I said, I have drinks and things. It's fine. All right, so there's the bed. Let's go ahead and drink. I have, like, a, a lot of coffee and stuff like that, too. What time was it? All right, I'm going to try and sleep for a tenner, which means I need to eat enough for that. This, please, please don't give me food poisoning. You, you didn't do it, and I'm super excited about that. All right, I have enough calories. We're going to sleep for a tenner here. And what that does for me, from what I've learned... And this is a practice that I use in my survival mode now as well. Um, you can take damage over the course of a day for being hungry and possibly thirsty if you're if you're brave about it. But I tend to try and not let that because it's you take a little bit more damage from being thirsty. Uh, that you heal up at the end of the day by sleeping. I'm really curious 
whether or not that water refroze. I've never had to do this before. Oh, well that's even worse, to be honest. That's 100% worse. Which means that now I want... I... Okay, it didn't refreeze. So I just need to find some fire fuel. Some sticks and whatnot. Maybe uh, some firewood. And continue cooking that. I'm surprised it didn't refreeze. Alright, here's some firewood. It is very cold outside, though. We're gonna get two of these. Alright, let's go finish that water because I'm out of water. And now, I guess I don't necessarily have to wait out this fog. It's, it's the light fog. Uh, wind chill is very small, so like... Oh, it's, I'm protected from it, I guess. Alright. It doesn't say paused anymore, so it's gonna have to start it over. That's fine. Do I still have? Yeah. All I can think about is food worked. All right. While that's going, I'm gonna get a stick because I, I don't want to waste a whole firewood on it. Although I probably shouldn't be carrying that firewood around. But I only need ten extra minutes on it. And that's overkill with a with a whole firewood. Firewood will give it like another hour or something. Let's grab a couple sticks just in case. And maybe waiting around here will lift this fog. That would be nice. Put a couple sticks in there. Alright, so now we're back up to actually having water. And the fog seems to be lifting a little bit, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drink that water. Because like I said, I, I tend to try and, even though I'm not worrying about my food, I do tend to try and keep my water going. And I've got enough rose hip tea, so I don't need to make any right now. Although, it looks like there are... Is there enough rose hip? No, there's not enough to prepare. You need 24, There's you get 8 per... Alright, where was that tower? Back that way is back to the tracks. Let's go up this way. I'm pretty sure the... And we're going to have to hear him talk about needing to eat every once in a while. I'm pretty sure that the entrance to the... The path leading up to that tower is off the logging site over there. But there was that wolf there, so we're going to try and avoid him. I think there might also be like a bear spawn uh, at the logging site. I'm not sure if it's the same as survival mode or not, like the bear spawns. I don't know if bears can actually spawn. Since it seems like the bear is the whole focal point of this episode, you might not be able to run into random bears. Now, obviously, I have absolutely no... Well, I do have a way to kill a bear. I guess the, the flare gun will kill a bear. I'd have to hit him with it, obviously. But I do have a way to get rid of a bear if he, if he steps to me. Right, where the fuck is the tower? Well, there's the logging site. The tower might be off that way. And then after we check the tower, we'll get back on the tracks and continue on to the Hydro Dam. There it is. Alright, that's where we're going. And that, I believe, is going to be way too steep, but we might be able to finagle it. Skyrim it. And if you haven't been watching my my survival mode streams which I've done all of my survival mode time on stream uh, I tend to call it Skyrimming which is kind of a misnomer because I, I mean more like Morrow ending uh, if you guys have ever played the Elder Scrolls games 
That is not the one that I was thinking of. But you know what? We'll check that one out too. Uh, have you guys ever played the Elder Scrolls games, particularly the newer, th like the Morrowind and up? Uh, especially in Morrowind. I think they might have fixed it for Oblivion. They definitely fixed it for Skyrim. If there's a mountain that is too steep for you, you can finagle it and get up it anyway by moving back and forth um, along the incline because it, it thinks that you're on level ground. So I, I tend to try and do that in this too, especially going downward to avoid a sprain. Uh, this is kind of productive going this way. But I want to see if I can get up there. Okay, that is the lake. The unnamed pond. Alright, well, you know what? We're here. Fuck it. Let's go check out the unnamed pond. This should be a little frozen stream here. I thought that rock was moving, but it was actually just the, uh, <laughs> the shadow. Alright, well, since we're here, fuck it. And then we'll swing around that way. There's a cabin off that way that we can check as well. Now, I really, really hope that the bear that spawns in survival mode in this area is not going to be here. Now, this bear seems to be bugged a lot in that you don't see him because he's underneath the ice. And then he'll pop up out of the ice and scare the shit out of you. Okay, well, we know the trapper wants these. So let's grab a bunch of these on the way. It is cold. I am losing heat. It's weird that it wasn't this cold yesterday. Should probably look around. Okay, there's only a deer. Like, staring up, grabbing these, uh, these lichens, and then a, a wolf takes a bite out of my ass. I wouldn't be too happy about that. Don't see the bear, but again, sometimes... I don't know, again, I don't know if he spawns in this. He, he might not even spawn. Because, like I said, a bear, like, fighting off that bear seems to be the focal point of this episode. So there may not be random bear spawns. Because that would be weird if the quote-unquote end boss of this episode was a bear, and then you're fighting hundreds of bears in other areas. Okay, let's go. Uh, I do want to check and see. Oh man's bear wound dressing, so I actually have to pair those into wound dressings to give him. Yeah, you guys run off. All right, we're gonna check this deer stand. The first time I ever even saw a bow in this game in survival mode, I found right here in the deer stand. I'm going to be 100% surprised if the bow is actually here. I doubt it. Because like I said, while I was at work tonight, I'm recording right now very late. Um, because I decided that I was going to start recording this after work tonight. While I was at work, I did look it up to see if you were able to get the bow and it, the general consensus is no, the bow is not in uh, story mode at all so far. That bear seems to spawn right, like instantly right there. Some jeans, but I don't think it's going to help. We'll take those. Yeah, if I wasn't already running so heavy, I'd. I'd start taking jeans and things because I'm, I'm going to need, uh, is that a fire log? No, it's just firewood, which I could drop, I guess, but I'm going to need cloth. All right, this is the last mushroom I'm taking. Okay, if bear magically spawns out of the ice like he does in survival mode, I'm walking right next to where he'll be and, and I'll have a very bad time. 
Oh, I didn't even go up to the tower. All right, we're going to check this cabin, then I'm going to turn around and go back toward the tower. There's two towers. There's like a that radio tower, and then there's a lookout tower. It'd be really cool if there weren't any wolves between me and this cabin, though. Because I heard them howling. It looks like we might be good. And then we're going to go back that way and head up that tower. The other tower is around here somewhere. I don't really remember how to get to it. I think it's up that way. We can see it from the signal tower. So we'll climb the signal tower first since I know where that is. All right, let's check it out. Okay, lantern fuel... Port vest is not going to help me, but I could break it down. I just don't want to waste too much time in the day. And it looks like that might be it. I don't see anything under the beds, except for that MRE, which I'm going to take. Because food is good. Some dog food. Looking at 80% on that one. That is useful. Nothing back that way. Only a stack of papers there that does not help. This place does not help. But we did get an MRE out of it. I could break down the cloth and stuff. Because I did mention just a second ago that I'm going to need cloth for repairs and things. But, like I said, I don't want to waste too much time. So we're going to go back toward the unnamed pond. And find a way up there. Which I believe is actually around this way. Oh, fuck. All right. Alright, up. Oh, Jesus. Alright, buddy. You just you just stay cool. I'm going this way. I'm out in the open and I don't wanna I don't wanna tangle with you. My mitts are already 75% and it makes me nervous. Please don't be too steep. What are we looking at? 35. We're good. We're good on heat so I can afford to take the long way around wolves and things like that. I'm not sure there's going to be anything useful up there. But we'll see. Where is that other tower? I guess we'll be able to see it from on top of the mountain. I think it's that way? I don't know. I don't know. But, see, this logging area here is what I was talking about. This logging area down here is the entrance to that tower. But I'm trying to... I guess I don't need to be all stealthy. It doesn't look like there's anything down there. Can I get through here? Yeah, no. Yes, no. But, that's the sign I was looking for. Can I... There we go. Yeah, there's some deer down there that are unmolested, so I would assume that that place is devoid of wolves at the moment. How are we doing on water? We're fine. But you see, oh, we haven't even started taking condition damage from starving yet. Which is kind of odd. Does it feel like I've been moving around for quite a while while being starved? But who knows? Maybe I don't understand the formula 100%. Um, the first few parts of this episode, guys, are just going to be a lot of probably exploring because that's this map has a lot of loot on it, and I want to get a lot of it before we move on. I'm sure that some of you that have done this before, you're probably like, dude, just go to the dam, go back, do the things, and then go where you need to go, and this episode's not that long. But look, man, this is the way it is. So there's after we've explored most of the map, then it'll be like, all right, objective done, objective done, objective done. But this first objective, we got to explore. we got to get loot. we got to find out if Trapper's Homestead is going to be the best base for me or if I need to go to the camp office where I usually hole up when I'm in Mystery Lake because it's, it's such an amazing place. And if that is so, then I'm going to want to go back to Trapper's Homestead and grab the pot that I brought, the two pots, and take them 
to the camp office, that kind of thing. So we'll see. Because the camp office is bigger, which means there's a lot more places to drop my stuff. Um, we'll see. But when we get up here, i got to find that other tower. So that, that other tower is, is actually a decent place to hang out. Well, I think it gets colder up here. I'm not sure. Are you a scrub brush? You sure as hell are. Here we go. Got rocks. Got loot. What are you? Pork and beans. Pork and beans, I think, are good for what? 600 calories? Yeah, I'll take that. Decent amount of sewing kits. I was starting to run out of sewing kits at at the uh, at Grey Mother's, so I'm happy that I'm finding a bunch. Now we got to get under that tower and check it out too. This stuff will come in. Not heavy. taking the rope. It's too heavy. It's 11 pounds. I know this is destroyed, but things seem to be a little different. Okay, I was wondering if there was any, like, loot on the landing there. Let's check out underneath the actual tire, which is over there. I don't know if I can get up there or not. Or if there even is anything. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Alright, now let's take a look, see if we can't... There it is. And I believe that is close to the place where uh, I had to hide from the wolf. Oh, I suppose I could rope down and go straight over there. Let's do that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. I'm carrying too much. Looks like we're going the long way. If I just rope down, then I could walk straight to it. So I need to keep that direction in mind. Oh, hello. Did I check you? That'll come no, in. no. Okay. Actually, that might be better than what I'm wearing. It certainly is. I'd break that down, but that's like 20 minutes that I don't want to spend. 10 or 20 minutes, something like that. Move on. I can always come back to this, this, or like come back for this stuff later. Where the fuck is the way down? Yeah, it's over here. Alright, I need to go that way. Yeah, that way. So I need to keep my eye on that way. As we're winding down here. And also avoid wolves. That way. Uh, let's see if I can see it from here. I want to base it on the stuff in the background over here. I have already lost it, but I think it's that way. I guess we can sprint a little bit. I'm not really saving my energy for anything. That would be the opposite way. I need to go that way. Although I should save my sprint juice for if I have to escape a wolf. Whatever. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I might be able to see it from here. Now that my view is unobstructed. How do I lose an entire lookout tower? And now we're below the tree line, so I... I look, I'm pretty sure it's that way, alright? Jesus. Alright, we're fine. I'm pretty sure it's that way. The game started there for a second, so I thought it was going to give me a sprain. Anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen, that is 
that is all the time I've got for today's episode. Tomorrow, we're going to get to that lookout tower. And I'm going to loot the hell out of it. And then we're going to move on to the dam, because there will be nothing else standing between us and the dam after I check that tower out. Uh, in fact, most of the other stuff to loot is actually back toward the camp office anyway. So, uh, I, I seem to remember there might be wolves over this way. But whatever. If you like this video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more of The Long Dark or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to know when those videos actually come out, you're going to need to hit that notification bell that is next to the subscribe button. And if you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you think of the series, of what I'm doing in the series. Yell at me for doing things stupidly. Whatever. But whatever you decide to do, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.